kaibigan, welcome back dito sa LOL Collegiate League 2016 Summer Term. Nasa Game 2 na tayo ng best of three series, second best of three series para sa semifinals. And it is between profilers of the unknown ng Our Lady of Panama University versus Rite of Passage ng Ateneo de Davao University. Powered by Smart Communications, kami po yung shoutcaster, Shippo with one for an eye. At kasama ko po ngayon, si Alpha. Sa kayon. Si Kim pa rin tingnan natin yung sa kayon. So kanina si Atlas sa wakas, nagwakas na siya ngayon. Alpha muna tayo mga mga pare diyan. So thank you so much for supporting and ito na. Game to na paring shit. Napakatindi nung ano nung first game. Ah, of course napakagulat siya. Napakalinis niya, napaka-surprising yung pagiging one-sided. Oh, kumpara napakatindi nung reactions. No, no. parang panic or pickings pa lang. Nararamdaman oh, I mean, mo na yung tsaka nung pin yung pinakita play na yeah. dito ng ano uh, early the final. And they're not going to give any breathing space for you right now. Yes, of course. Of This course. is the ticket for the final. So if, if I were you guys, susubaybayan ka talaga to hanggang sa huli. Yes, of course. Oh, ayan guys. So, wag na natin patagalin ito. Let's get into the drafting phase for this game 2 of things are about to unfold. Kung paano kung sakali man paano babawi ang right of passage at the Nevada Davao University kasi observing that game 1 ang dami nilang kailangang asikasuhin ang dami nilang kailangang trabahuin yeah. mula doon sa you know kung paano lamang nilaro ito ng Our Lady of Fatima na po 2 ng napakalinis okay so going for the bands we have a Bard Graves Malzahar sabi ko nga bakit pinalusot yung Malzahar bakit game 1 this is like one of the comfort picks din palagi ni Petchay man so I'm leaning more na baka pumalik na naman si Petchay man si Lissandra we will know though ba tapos para naman sa ban dito ng uh, Our Lady of Fatima University po 2 Karma Kled Gallo same ban naman okay Kled yes. and Gallo they don't want to deal with any of that actually ayun Uh, pero interestingly, if you look into the composition ngayon ng Ateneo de Davao University, George is playing now yeah. George of the George. Jungle instead of Bohong. Bohong. So, Bohong si Bohong. Uh -oh. Now, we have George, mga kaibigan, the one who originally plays the Gallo Jungle. Yes, and this which time, is really effective yes. last night. Yes, and this time, they are opening over this Lee Sin pick Ooh, here. Ooh, this Lee Sin. Kung baga, ito yung isa sa pinaka, isa sa mga aggressive Stand. laners dati. Yes. Kaso kasi anong nangyari sa kanya, Jugglers. kaya bumaba din siya sa meta ng ibang mga tao ngayon. Kasi napaka-predictable niya. His plays, uh, madalas alam mo na na, alam mo na, the insect plays. Or yung kaya niyang i-offer kasi yes. may nagko-compensate na rin which is nagagaling kina Gragas, Rek'Sai, or Zack. Yung mga ganun type of champions yes. uh, which uh, is working ngayon. Like, you'd be expecting na early game. Yes. Early game yung plano dito ng isang leasing. Isa siya sa may mga pinakamagandang kicks. Uh, kids enter the first 15 minute mark ng game. Yes, of course. Yun, uh, sometimes yung aggression you, you, you niya, could, sobrang worth pa rin. Yes, yun nga. Uh, for the aggression, he's getting picked for that one. And maybe dun siya pwede ma-predict. Tapos, uh, you could also like predict na on the play style at the very least kahit anong makuha niyang slow ball he falls off in their late game yeah. ayan so but of course that sa matter kung gaano man kalaki yung lamang na naigagawa ng DC in the early game picks tapos yun kung saka man kung mag offset man yun into the late game ay eh, medyo huli na ang lahat para yeah, sa kabilang uh, team we'll see though but what, what I want to emphasize here is that at the very least bumalik si isang meta pick ngayon actually very meta pick ngayon in composition ang Ateneo de Davao University there's a few pieces though we have the Aurelion Sol in the mid lane and Gosu kanina nga nag Ezreal siya oh, okay. mention na, na. Na, na known that Gosu, Gosu, Gosu has been playing like the uh, hyper carry champions like katulad ng isang uh, ng isang Ash katulad ng isang Bain, pero kanina nag Ezreal siya doesn't play so well at the very least now it's leaning on somewhere in between the hyper carry and the play style ng isang poke champion yes, so indeed. ngayon mula Ezreal nasa gitna palapit-lapit na sa hyper carry palapit-lapit na, lapit na sa isang bait so <laughs> nag ano siya nag Lucian siya ngayon Lucian has a better dueling yes, potential yes, compared to an Ezreal pero ayun nga kanina maganda, na, maganda naman yung performance ng Ezreal niya on himself alone actually siya yung may pinakamati ng KTA yes. para sa kanyang mga teammates hindi ganun ka-disastrous they he managed to you know take off a few bounties away from Joby Minudos Caitlyn yes. kasama dun si kasama dun si Bohong on that uh, gin pero Church. Ito naman, oh, si pero pero siyempre masyado Ayaw, kasing, pala, Pero si masyado kasi ano, masyado kasi behind si masyado behind yung Ateneo de Davao University yeah. as a team in masyado such a way na, na, na pa, bumangon. Yes, kung paano mo makikita man na maka-influence ang isang Ezreal dun sa composition na yon. But this time it's gonna be another story nga. We have uh, Lucian and Janna. Interestingly, walang prom na pinik no. It would be a nice oh, combo para sa diba, yung kinokombo siya sa Light Slinger yeah. combo para dun sa Winter's by equalizing it to contrast blows. Yeah. 
Kaya okay sana. Musi bro, pero right now at least si Carly, hindi na siya nasa aggressive support. I mean, pwede siya mag-aggressive pero mas conservative pa rin or focus yeah, mostly. Yeah, yun nga. Hindi na siya nag-Zyra. Tapos hindi, ko rin masya, hindi rin natin nakita na merong prong na dumaan yeah. sa kamay ni Carly. So, Carly will opt for, you know, a more comfortable pick that could, you know, enchant and enhance your champion better. Yes, Actually, I'm thinking of Nami, pero why not, why not play a better Janna? Yeah. Kasi mas maganda rin ang naibibigay. In my opinion, mas maganda ang naibibigay sa isang teamfight ng Janna Monsoon. Kasi may, mas may surprise factor ang Janna Monsoon compared sa isang tidal wave. Yeah, na, oh naman. Kasi medyo ang uh, tidal wave incoming. Eh, oh, ang uh, tidal wave, may kita mo yung animation. Mabagal, oh, mabagal talaga yung siya. It's much like an odd dog. Pero kasama. yung sa Monsoon, oh, may heal talaga yon May malaking knockback may, at ang oh, laki ng ground ng knockback na yun. So, it, it will give you breathing space to oh. reassess the fight and just go in or to have more cooldowns muna. Yes, plus mas malaki ang nakocover na CC and ground ng Howling Gale compared oh, sa isang okay. Aqua Prison. But, so, going to the composition naman dito ng Profilers of the Unknown. Profilers of the Unknown, kanina. I mean, kanina, ever since they've been known to play standard compositions. They've been known to play very nice compositions. Talagang composition pa lang kung nantinginan mo pa lang. Alam, Alam mo agad, may baon palagi. And right now, anong baon nila? This time, in the top lane, aalisin ang ating Nautilus. It's gonna be a Morgana. Wow. Oh, so we will we'll also have a Sintra. Lots of magic damage in dance from Patterson the Anon. Whereas we'll gonna, we're gonna see the same story in the bottom lane, in the bottom duo dito ng Po2. So let's discuss first na lang muna itong tatlong to. Itong uh, Sintra, itong Rumble. Rumble parehas pa rin pala. Oh, na, jungle Rumble. Yeah. Sintra at saka Morgana. Understanding the Morgana, Morgana pick it would be because you, know, you would just want to protect the Kate team. Pero I'd say it is because a uh, swing top lane. Yeah, uh, Kumaga, like, maganda kasi dito dun sa top lane, parang sa lang may wave clear. Pero si, parang si Morgana is yun, yun yung mostly na makakapag-advantage sa kanis yung black shield against the Swain. Oh, against the Swain. Or basically it's because you cannot pick any melee champions yeah. easily against the Swain. You'll get outraded ng isang Swain. Kapag makikipagpaluan ka sa isang Swain, lalo na kapag nakarapin yung black <laughs> na yun, eh, the ang laking black. ground. Kung kunyari susubukan mo makitrade tapos aatras ka, ang laking crowd nung nakocover nung never move. Yeah, so it, lalo makes, na yun. it makes your retreat awkward. Pero compared to Morgana, you know, Morgana just relies on the range and the frontline damage nung kanyang, ano, nung kanyang... The binding in the Torment Soil. Uh, kaya, yes, Tormented Soil. So, may mataas na safety dun sa parang yes, na Tormented kaya, Soil. And, ayun, uh, at the very least, yun nga, the Black Shield mitigates the damage a little bit from the Ravenous Black. Plus, yes. yun nga, worst comes to worst, pero it's very hard sometimes to get caught. Hindi, hindi naman ganun ka, yeah. kahirap mag-dodge sa never, never move. move. So, Kasi may animation naman siya bago yeah. siya mag-land totally. Oh, so, worst comes to worst naman. Well, if, if that connects, you have the Black Shield. Yeah, yeah. pwede mo siya i-instantly cast eh. So, oh. malayo niya. Pero, yun nga, Syndra Pechayman, one of the mid lane assassin players. You have seen him on Lissandra ngayon. Sindra naka ghost pa. It means she wants the ball rolling. Hindi siya totally mag... I mean, oh, over siya. Pero she wants to stay on the fight, maneuvering herself uh, all around. Yes, uh, I'm actually the Sindra pick is kind of nice if you would want to burst something like yeah. Lucian. Although... Or si Jan. Uh, <laughs> kahit projectile. Ang kainahan kasi ni Lucian, hindi talaga projectile. Malakas siya sa mga projectile-based uh, na champions, projectile-based na skills because of the mobility na meron siya. Sabi nga ni Dopolif, ang kung merong inherit ang kainahan ng Lucian, it's the point-and-click champions. Uh -oh. Much like the Irelia Equilibrium Strike, much like the Ani uh, Disintegrate. Pero, or the Ani Stunts, ganun. And I'd say, uh, kung meron kang Sindra, ang maganda kay Sindra, kahit projectile siya, medyo mabilis. Oh, yun yung tama ng isang Scatter the Week paired with the Dark Spear. Pero ito na yun, guys. We are now live in the Summoner's Reef. This is Game 2 in the Best of 3 Series for the second semifinals leg dito sa LOL Collegiate League 2016 Summer. A match between Our Lady of Panama University Profilers of the Unknown versus Ateneo de Davao University's Rite of Passage. Pero nagkakagulo. Death Sentence was able to connect best. It uses the Ignite and George might fall down. That was a kill secure coming from Pechai Man. Yeah. Yes, take note though that the ghost and flash has been burned for Pechai Man. But George also has no flash in that game. And that's the first blood gold given nga sa Poto. Yes, mid laner. Paano punta? Siyempre, 
And okay na. Oh. Pati Ignite, may cooldown na rin. Yes, so for the champion rundown, on the blue side, it's Ateneo de Davao University's Rite of Passage. In the top lane, we have Happy for the Swain. In jungle, George of the Jungle, Lee Sin. <laughs> In the mid lane, it's Kitanda on that Aurelion Sol. And the bottom blue is gonna be Gosu on that Lucian ADC. And Carly on that Jana Support. At syempre, ang kumuha ng first kill of the game. Profilers of the Unknown, hailing at Our Lady of Fatima University. On the top lane, Smoochie on that Morgana. On the jungle, you can see Beefsteak 25. Nagluluto luto pa rin with that rumble. On the mid lane, Pechai Man on that Syndra. On the AD carry roll down with Joby Minudo on his Caitlyn. And for the support, si Besk on that Trash. Yes, esports.green.ph is the last stream. We are also live at Facebook Live. We are also live at YouTube Gaming. Powered by Smart Communications, this is the LOL Collegiate League 2016 Summer Term Semi Finals. Yeah, so. Early game. We're just starting in early game like oh, need to yes. take it slow. Pero mo na pa kaaga nito. Ah. Yeah, a dead sentence once again from Best putting a lot of hustle. Nakita natin kung gaano ka exemplary yung performance ni Best on this stretch. But look at Kitanda. Sure. Nako. Kitanda forced with the power of the will, and here we go. Pechai Man wasn't able to finish the kill because of the barrier. Pero si George, alam natin walang oh, flash. Si Pechai so Man nice. and try to pop a lag. Thunder Lord's rock and the burn from Red Buff. Not Finishes even him. needing to use the sonic wave resonating strike. Papasok kay Pechai Man. Pechai Man could be said to be aggressive and complacent with that engage mula kay Kitanda. It's a return kill coming from George. Yes, man. So, it's a bad beef stick trying to flame spit all around. Okay, Patrick Kitanda. But George, once again, whoa! Finishes beef stick. And here you go, guys. Here you go, guys. Right of passage, punishing both two for their complacent engages. Medyo minamali. Medyo, hindi na sa minamali, pero hindi na ginigage ng both two dito. Yung response pabalik na pwedeng gawin yes, ng. From, like, ng nang right of passage. Then nang galing si George. Eh. Okay. Not really sure why uh, Beefsteak opted to go for that uh, aggressiveness. Yes, man. And now, two one tayo sa ating scoreboard. In this bottom lane, hindi rin natin nakikita na ganun kalinis ang pag-owner, you know, ang lead or advantage or lamang dito sa bottom lane nila best and ni Joby Minuto because there's a, just there's just a lot of safety and pain mula sa isang Janabee. Ooh, pero here from George with a ward jump and pumasok with that resonating strike still going in but his Black Shield was able to protect him from that oh, further damage. Oh, that binding! Baka magkataong tumaan pa ni Taring Smoochie but I don't know follow up. Yeah, if there's a dark binding tas combo ng uh, Torment so, Sword, gonna be the onto the next. Pero yun, na si Best putting in the aggressiveness once again. Ignite and a death sentence might be finish him. Ooh. And the last hit and the proc from that pot save paring Gosu. Yeah, isa sa anang combo na pwedeng gawin doon ni Joby Minudo kasama si Best is to grab the lantern, flash, yeah. flash in, and Peacemaker. It's Pero very able okay, to tag Gosu. Pero flying in, the stun was, in the, nice uh, was able to sentence. hit and the sentence sent Nesco next plays away and they are running in the U heal. Nagamit na rin. No follow-up for both teams. Si Kitanda just trying to be aggressive and zoning this duo bot away. Yes, mga pre. So, 2-1 tayo sa ating scoreboard. 6.8k gold mark. Ang dalawang teams natin dito. It's very clear na na-offset na yung first blood gold advantage dito ng right of passage now that they have that one kill lead. Yes, so easy. Uh, they're just trying to ano muna, assess ulit mm. yung laning phase nila after those sa series of engages manggaling sa uh, lahat ng lane. Yes, man. So, we can see though that interestingly, mula doon sa... Corrupted Potion. Kapit nila dito ni Katanda. He's gonna pair that one with the Dark Seal. So, wow. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I would that. I think ito lang talaga. Pang early game lamang itong yeah, Dark Seal. Yeah, pang early yung healing effectiveness. Yeah, it would be very risky to fully build this. Here comes Medjai. George once again with that war jump. is making strike. Uh, has connect and the force of the will. I mean, scatter of the week. Yeah, scatter of the week, them man. Yeah. Force of the week yung angat. Yes, the scatter the week would be, you know, very Ooh, massive. Oh, but here comes Best and yeah. Beefsteak. Flames oh, nice in front. Sentence. That sentence once again. Play and Joby Minudo takes down. Go soon. And there you go, guys. As sayang sana ang ginawang comp. Hindi, hindi, hindi rin enough para basagin si Joby Minudo. Pero I'm observing the combo dito ni Carly. Pero here and comes another oh, engage. Here comes another engage from Kitanda. Teleport, Teleport has been that used. Sentence. Yes, that sentence na flash away ni Carly. And cancelled 
the teleport. Yes, it's a matter of if the death sentence will connect yes. or not. Kung itutuloy ba ang flash na yun. So, at the very least, yun yung mga rare cases na iisipin mo, oh, maganda yung nerf na yun. Maganda yung nerf sa clash. At the very least, pwede ko napasahin yung, yeah. yung situation. Mas may window ako para hindi ako tumuloy-tuloy sa aking flash. But still, though, I don't like the nerf on flash. So, I on the on the <laughs> teleport. Now, Going to the force of will, the interesting part of the force force of will, the scatter the weak. The interesting part about the scatter the weak. Pero binak kill, pero makikita mo kung gaano kabagal yung crowd control and stun na pwede mo makuha mula nga doon, the scatter the weak. But we can see George once again, nandito rin si Carly for added damage, a howling kill. Wala, but no chances of any kill or follow-up. Yeah, actually, kung isang combo sana doon, pero I, I cannot see... Pero nagpakita kasi si Vips. I cannot so. see a very clean uh, kill potential din sa isang Janna that is roaming. Pero kung meron sana siyang flash, it could be... A flash is Zephyr. Walk in, Howling Gale, then Zephyr, then flash tsaka Or, can, or ano, flash Monsoon, tapos Zephyr. Flash, ano muna, flash is Zephyr. Kasi wala, may Monsoon na ba siya? Wala ka. So. Nakalapit naman siya. Enough to actually land one normal hit dun sa mid laner. So that would be enough for a Zephyr. At the very yeah, least, ang, oh, oh. ang gusto mo sana i-knock, i-knock up papalik si Pechaman. Pero I, I'm not sure din kasi may flash naman si Pechaman. Yeah, oh. It's just too risky might be. Na- Pero may, pwede pa rin kasi si yeah, Beefsteak 25. Oh, Beefsteak 25, kaka level 6 na lang ngayon. So nung gi- sa laban na oh. kanina sa mid lane, hindi pa level 6 si Beefsteak 25. There will be no equalizer and you have the numbers advantage. Ah, yun pala. Kaya rin naman pala hindi pwede mag- Flash Monsoon kasi walang Monsoon. Well, yun na nga. <laughs> Wala oh, pa talaga sa... Hindi pa level 6 si Janna dahil nga nag-roam siya. So, medyo na pag-iwan na ng XP. So, yun na. Right now, we can see teams just trying to assess once again. Mm-hmm. Pero yung aggression dito ng, ano, ng Ateneo di Tapo, iba. Like the uh, the mid lane gangs with that Lee Sin. Talaga may na-maximize nila yung power nito ni Lee Sin. Lee Sin for early game. And Aurelian Sol. Being the one who's roaming for the bot lane. Yes, man. Eight minutes into the game, and compared compared sa laro kanina, you know, uh, at uh, two minutes na merong napakaraming kids ka. I got oh, the three minutes and five minutes, and even the thirteen minute mark where profilers of the unknown is just oozing with leads and kill. This time, it has become a more and more standard match. Now that you know, Ateneo de Davao University is being being uh, careful na yes, pagdating sa Naruto. They need to. Pat, alam natin, semis to. Ito na talaga yeah. yung one-way pass nila. Papasok ng finals. And not to mention that semis to tapos po, game point pa para oh, game point sa po to. Po to. Yes. So, there you go. This is a very great move coming, coming from right of passage. This yeah. might take they may take the first dragon of the game is the cloud play yes. successfully. Yes, they are down. They are clearly grouping up. I'm interested how, kung may idea nga ba, o binigay lamang talaga ito ng Poto, yung uh, Cloud Drake, because that is a four-man unit. The bottom lane gone, the mid lane gone, Ooh, plus without gosh. any traces of the jungle, you could easily predict yeah. that they are taking the Cloud Drake. Pero it's maybe because, yun nga, hindi siya nilalagay ng priority ng Profilers of the Unknown. I wonder, though, it's very clear that it's a lead there being done by right of passage. Yes, kahit naman sabihin mong Cloud Drake lang yan, uh, always remember that these Drakes are the long-term well, yes. investment for this game. Plus, enter this early game, Mark. Pinaka maganda mag-scale ang Cloud Drake. Lalo pa Whoa, kung extended the mana. Scatter the wing equalizer lead. pushing down in. Voice of Light was able to push them away. Pero ayan na, three man moving and the ghost has been used by Peg Chai Man. There's no follow-up. And yes, that's one kill in the hands of Propass from the Unknown. Pero hindi pa yata tapos. Electric Harpoon, Scatter of the Week was able to connect. And yes, Happy was happy to be safe on top of it. Ten minutes into the game, 2-3 tayo dito mga kaibigan with a 2k gold lead in favor again of Profilers of the Unknown after that series of picks na that shoot the 2-1 score into 2-3. If you look into the itemization, makikita natin that Pecha, man, is gonna go rush. Will go and rush that Morellion Nomicon. Whereas, interestingly, paborito ni Kitanda talaga. Mobility. Boots of Swiftness. Oh, nga. Eh. Natalang yung kasi yung mga respuan ni. Eh. Pero kasi, oh. parang it was too much already that you have the uh, the Aurelian Sol's mobility yeah. from flying away. Plus, yun, big lang may Swiftness. Pa. Not really sure why. Hindi ko alam yeah, kung tenacity ba yung habol niya dito. Pero, it, I think it's not a good. I mean, it's yun nga, wala ang tenacity yung Boots of Swiftness. Tapos, uh, it's like, doesn't give that much, that much scaling. 
yeah. scaling stuff. I'm not sure kung baka I dahil parang, gusto niya kontrolin yung mga Parang habit niya. lang to eh. Parang habit lang to ni, ano yun, ni Kitanda. Like, kaya hindi naman masama na pick ang boots of swiftness. Pero if you're exchanging that, not prioritizing your catalyst of aeons. Yeah. Tapos, you know, catalyst of aeons plus the Wala rushing ako. that rod of ages. Yun yung mahalaga eh. Kaya gusto mo sana map mapuo ka agad yung rod of ages yeah, mo. Yeah, like 600. Delay first eh. item. Oo, oh, wag, wag mo muna buuin yung boots mo. Yun yung usual stuff para sa isang Aurelian Sol. Not, uh, not to mention na yung binibigay sa'yong safety ng boots of swiftness, mas malaki yung binibigay sa'yong safety ng catalyst of aeons sustain compared to the mobility ng boots of swiftness. Yeah. Tsaka kung iisipin mo kasi, 300 from boots and then 600 from swiftness, he already has 100. Pero hindi pa dyan. Ito na ang laban. Lantern was able to be grabbed away. Equalizer on the choke point. Unleashed the power. Took down George Perobes. Ito na rin si Pimstick. Double teleport coming from both teams. And Ravens block in the middle of the fight and never move. Chase down. Smoochie. Yes, on the side. Voice of Light has been used and the moon soon has been caught. But a very good scatter of the week coming from Betchai Man and both teams disengages but on Universe to Kitanda who mahab will and then the balls around oh, and the, the dead, dead sentence. sentence very good connects from Carly and Briefsnake was able to fry down that Janna and still wow. still ladies and gentlemen 2-5 that's 2 kills easily falling not easily but falling into the hands of profilers of the unknown so makikita natin that in terms of team fights na merong step at namang pa rin na malinis itong profilers of the unknown we will know though because you know at the very least makikita natin na hindi na hindi na ganun kadali-dali at basta-basta lang nakaka-pick up yung profilers of the unknown but still but still ang isang commendable doon na player would be best once again, with the dead sentence. The, the continuous oh. connect of dead sentence. Dead sentence kay Lee Sin. Dead sentence ulit. Dalawang dead sentence kay nagpapunta Carly sa pa. mid lane. Oh, yeah. oh. So, you know, wala ako nakitang nag-miss na dead sentence during those three fights. It's just very efficient. Actually, isa sigurong situation doon na pwede magpanalo para sa photo would be hindi sana ginamit yung unleash power ni Petshai Man kay Lee Sin. Oo, oh, kasi nag, he's ano na lang siya, down na rin eh. Nag Dark Spear na lang siya, tsaka Force of Will. Tapos sinave niya yung unleash power at the very sinave niya yung Here comes Joby Minuto, the wrong part of the map. Dragon's Rage has been used as well. Here comes the calling in oh. the death sentence. Mad life, best! Galit na galit with that play and the scatter of the week wasn't able to hit. Beefsteak securing that kill. Taking away Gosu, pero mukhang magchichase pa yata sila. And yes, they're just going to settle down for that one kill and opted to take the first star of the game and the death sentence once again. Galit talaga si Maring Best natin. Nagwawala. Alish the power coming from Pechay. Man and George trying to run away with Beefsteak na sobrang nasa screen na. Flames meter in the face. Bez, is there any chance with the play? And the equalizer ace in the hole. It has been cancelled ba? O sinalo ni Carly? It has been cancelled. Look at the cooldown. It has been cancelled. Pero Carly goes down. That's a red line, George. It's a really nice Howling Gale being done there by Carly just to save George. So, I mean, it's very likely Carly will go down. So, sa halip na i-body block niya, yung Hina Howling Gale na yung any follow-up sa mga gagaling doon. And dude, ako hindi niya pwede ma-body block kasi pag naglakad siya para ma-body block, by the time pa lang na naglalakad siya, patay na siya noon. So, better i-Howling Gale mo na lang yung KT na nag-channel. Good decision making. Pero here comes another fake check coming from George Scatter of the Week was able to hit Beefsteak Flame Spitter in the face and Beefsteak, is there any chance na makapasok pa kaya kay Tanda, Carly, and George chasing in with the group of Po2, any backup, and the scatter of the week. Two men, scatter of the week. The barrier was able to keep him safe. Pero si Maring Gale na dito na. Ward jump away, and Penchai Man with an unleash the power, but Munson wasn't enough. Pero si George hindi pa rin nagtatakot. A very good play! Once again, coming from Bess! Bess! Nako mga pre, now Bess is running for his life, but you have to take note that the one with the damage. Hindi pa rin talaga tapos dito pa rin. Shin po, Voice of Light has been used kay Joby Minuto the box as well. And that sentence, point blank, sa harap ni Carly, makakatakas kay Ashraf. There's a possibility with that movement speed plus the Howling Gale if ever it goes to cooldown. Yeah, it's a matter of, you know, the dead sentence landing by, getting land by Bess. Pero Bess will change his target, trying to snipe away the Aurelion Sol. Sayang, kasi... Dalawang hits lang ang kailangan ni Joby Minuto and he could land the ace in the hole. Yeah. He could cast the ace in the hole against Carly. Could have been an execute sana for the enemy support. Or mga, ba siguro tatlong hits if ever Carly will use that Eye of the Storm. Pero ayun, 3-10 pa rin tayo dito. And quite uh, not as easy as game one. Yeah. Profilers of the Unknown but has the lead in this game in terms of kills. You can still the aggression, di ba? Ilan beses na rin nangyari yung face check nito mga... Yeah. Pag dating dun sa turnaround eh, pag dating dun sa pagbalik, 
mas efficient pa rin at mas nananalo yung Profilers yes, of, of the course. Unknown. Pero sobrang ganda na ng improve dito no, ng Atenea de Davao compared to Game 1. Actually, if they just stole the game and, you know, uh, buff up their timing when it comes to engagers, they could actually get a win on a team fight sa larong to. Pero isipin mo yun, no? parang after the lose from Game 1, parang she naked off lang nila. Then let's yun start nga, again. Yun. Let's compose ourselves. Ito rin kasi yung mindset ni Poto nung nagkaroon ng reverse sweep. So, uh, you would really love how these two teams compose themselves against each other for this ticket to finals. And once again, Whoa, the dead sentence. sentence since Karen Dewey wasn't able to connect, but unleash power, securing the kill in the hands of Pechai Man. Man, it's just so clean. The name of the game is best. Si Bess talaga. Oh, like, ang ni Bess, man. I'll give the MVP props to Bess. No, oh, with the dead sentence, it's just too much. 0-0-9. Zero, zero, Two kills lamang hindi dahil sa kanya. Ooh, but here comes George with a Dragon's Rage kick and Equalizer ano, once sentence. again connecting with that dead sentence. Pero Munsun pushing him away and that will secure the Mountain break, But it will cost the life of Pechai Man. Ayan, mga kaibigan. Also, you have to take note na in the top lane, tamang paluan muli at bumalik sa pinanggalingan nila itong dalawa nating top laner. Work, oh, Dana. Matahimik sila Plus dalawa. Na. Oh, dalawang ano to eh, si Birdie Guy at si Birdie Girl. <laughs> parang sila may Birdie. Oo, oh, oh, parang sila may pakpak yan. Ayan. Parang kung sagwara, parang sila. <laughs> Ayan, mga kaibigan. Nice and you know, 17 minutes into the game. Ito nga yun eh. Catalyst of Aeons ngayon lang na-build. Like, kailangan mo, mo, kailangan mo pa yung stacks niya. Right? Tapos, kailangan mo pa yung leveling niya, di ba? Then ngayon uh, lang. Napatapos pa yung laning phase, ha? Patapos na yung laning phase. Patapos yung laning uh, phase. So, and of course, yung advantage ng both teams, malayo na para ma-fill up mo yung Catalyst of Aeos. No, normally, you would want the Catalyst of Aeos during the laning phase. <laughs> Pero, <laughs> ayun, the, the interesting part here is there's also the Revolver. I don't recall any item that builds from Revolver at Catalyst of Aeos. Uh, not really sure. Yeah, ang alam well. ko, kasi si Revolver, alam ko, it's Kindle either Gem. the... Uh, it's either the Hextech Proto Belt Proto or the so, GLD. Tapos Kindle, Kindle Gem yun eh. Oh. Yeah. So, we'll delay na naman to for his Rod of Ra Ages. Ages. Talaga, I mean, it's one of the core items of kasi, an Aurelion Sol. Kasi uh, dapat, sorry, Rod of Ages. Uh, for this uh, 20 minute mark, you already have the Rod of Ages. You're filling up the uh, the stacks. Yeah. And you also have your uh, mid item for your Rylice. Yes, that's how it's done. Look at how did Swain do it. <laughs> Rush yeah, Rod diba? of Ages. Pa, kasi, pero, kasi kapag may Rod of Ages ka, meron ka lang isa pang, aside same, sa Rod of Ages, may survivability ka. Uh, aside sa Rod of Ages, parang meron ka pang isang libreng item or to put it more, more accurately, oh, okay. may, mas may maganda kang scaling. Yes, mas, of course. Hindi, pala, hindi mas maganda. May assured kang scaling. Yun yung kinaganda ng Rod of Ages. Kaya siya naging popular na item. At ito, ito na yata ang katapusan. Hindi pa pala. Nag-plus like, si dito. Pinaligan ng Dead Sentence. Okay. 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 Pat and Dark Mining was able to connect kay Parin Flappy and Joby Minuto sniping away. Pero si Parin Kitanda in front line. Equalizer has been dropped. Pero Mitsuna and Jen na rin. The Dragon Sink ginamit kay Best. Para walang connection and too much ang paglapit ni Parin Smoochie. Pero nagkakapalitan na dito ng mga fire shots. And George in front of them. Joby Minuto was able to secure the kill. Aurelian Sol was able to ring shot. And Pechai Man, a really good scatter of the week. Flashing in with another Dark Spear and Beanstick. Pechai Man. Uh, going in, chasing in Kay Flappy, oh! and wow, <laughs> Happy was able to survive in front of them. Parang yung ano mo yun ah, yung soulmate mo. <laughs> Katabi ko na na wala pa. Oh man. <laughs> and tayo eh. Uh, bronze moves, man. <laughs> Pero grabe, napakatindi ng clash yan. So here's the replay, parang Shin. Yes, uh, we discussed the replay here. It's Maganda yung engage, pero yung full commitments na ganyan, that is wrong. As in, it's very clear that you should have accounted the equalizer. Yeah, you uh, respect the equalizer. Uh, pero at the very least, ang ganda nung choke point na binuo dito sa side, sa, dito sa side na, no, na atin na yun University. Making sure that they don't stand on the equalizer. Pero ito, when this Go. all went south, sana umatras na sila. Ay, ano yung ginawa ni Kitanda? Nagmaasim ba? That's yeah. very risky. You have to always account the scatter oh, the weak. The scatter the weak. And under turret, with the help of the scrap shield, uh, you know, oh, so the finishing would be the first of the wheel, not the dark sphere. But yeah, good play from coming from that time. And look at that. Ooh, double kill. And you could see how, how the members of Poto tunnel vision onto the last kill didn't know, did not know. Oh, na, na, recall. Dun sa lugar. Actually, nga, 
Yes, hindi maganda inisip nila talaga ng cool back na yun. Oh, ano. hindi hindi si maganda Happy. yung recall na yun, yung location yeah, that, para mag-recall. That's, that's very risky. Uh, no, that's not really good, but Scarab really was able to hit Kitanda and they don't want this mid lane turret to go down. Equalizer pala nagamit na rin, but resonating strike. But here comes Smoochie on the side. Whoa, the damage coming from Joby Minudo and Ace in the hole. Paso kaya Carly, three-man squad of ROV is under. 50% health, and this might be a Baron. Yeah, it's Free a, Baron for it's Profilers. A clear, no, no. It's a clear, clear Baron for Profilers. Ayun. Of the Sobrang clear, mas clear pass pag tingin mo sa. Ayun. So, ayan nga, Poto was able to secure this Baron. Really good day. Team fights. And ang ganda ng pwesto dun is Muchi. Ha? Talagang gigilid ka ng bongga. Creating another choke point for the team. Yeah, yun. Makagawa nung choke point mula sa equalizer. Kung saan man sila magdadudge. Nagyan mo ng ano, ng soul shackles. Uh -oh. So, ayun. And this is a really nice composition again by profilers of the unknown. Pero, all is not lost para sa Ateneo, oh, the Davao you Remember that one mistake can destroy yeah. the game. They're very behind. Like, they they are behind by one to two levels. Oh, no, no. And actually, for the case of Janna, he's behind by six levels against Smoochie. O yan, kung makakot mo yung lowest level to the highest level. Ito kasi yung mga tipong laban na pwede ng pampusuan kasi kaya mo pa. Oo. Kaya pa naman talaga. Ang pwedeng nangyari dito would be proper scaling kay Happy. Hindi ko marirecommend sana na mag- In the items of Kitanda, please. Core item ang isang Visage. Core item ang isang Visage. But the thing here is that, ah, okay. GLP. GLP ang Catalyst of Aeons. I was thinking na walang connection ng Catalyst of Aeons. So we have GLP pala. Yes. Kindle Gem naman for the Proto Belt. But going back, going back dito sa discussion natin. The interesting part here would be kailangan ng wave clear ng ADDU. And right now, napaka-awkward ng wave clear nila mula kay Aurel at Sol. Magre-rely ka lang dun sa mga... Magre-rely ka talaga sa calling ni Lucian. And kailangan mo talaga ng wave clear because may siege potential dito. Oh, here comes the battle. Never move catches two person and the boys of flight boy pa rin si Kitanda and this is looking bad and Beefsteak was able to secure the kill and unleash power plus his cat of the week. Pero si Best with a very good attendance and the ace in the hole was able to finish him out. And this is the second third Yeah. On the mid lane. Yes, the inner mid lanes are being taken Whoa. here as the plan dito ng po 2 is just going and unfolding. But you can see that along with the bottom lane inhibitor turret, the inner mid lane turret will go down. It's gonna be a bonus inhibitor as the cherry on top for the taking ng our Lady of Fatima University. Grabe, and of course, open din ang uh, yeah. mid lane. Yung team fight kanina, maganda na yun eh. Para yeah. sa right of passage. But the problem is, Maganda siya, maganda siya if you just consider the positioning. But the problem is, ayan, okay siya eh. Kasi nahuli sa pwesto 1 dito. Ayan, oh, ayan, ayan, ayan. Yung mga important. Dahil 2-man never move. Tsaka si Besta, iwan siya kinagawin. Okay na Besta. Kasi yung 2-man never move dito. But ang awkward nga ng AOE damage ni Kitanda, hindi siya enough. And kapag nag-re-engage na yung OLFU, pwede pa rin. Pwede pa rin, panalo pa rin sila. Pero the court, The core stuff, or talaga yung main point dito kung bakit nanalo pa rin yung OLFU doon, is simply because they have the item advantage even with that awkward positioning on the red side jungle. Well, yun din kasi talaga yung point. Like, nakita mo na eh. Yun, yun, yun yung rason ng item advantage at snowballing effect nila. Na kahit mali na yung positioning nila, Lamang once they re-engage, mm -hmm. alam na Pag alam pumalag. mo, sige mo naman yung items ni, uh, ni Pechay man kaysa kay... Itanda. Yes. And that's a three offensive items against this That's one. what I want to point out kanina. Dahil sa behind kayo sa item, dahil sa behind kayo overall sa laro, you would want to stall the game. One of the crucial or one of the key elements in stalling the game is a good wave clear. Now, considering the wave clear nga dito ng right of passage, it's just the calling illusion, which is, you know, that's not the optimal Ooh. tool in using the wave clear. Pero what I'm saying is, maybe they would want to rely on Happy for the wave clear. Right now, Happy... Visage is a good pick on Swain, pero you might want to build AP on Swain. Best goes in and flash away, pero si Paring Happy Revenus block agad. Andito na rin si Paring Deepstick. There's a chance of an equalizer and maybe a tower dive. Pero dahil alam lang advantage nila, they're just going to take it in. Yeah, ayan ang problema. You're not being able to shove the lanes because you lack wave clear. And now it's just a matter of, you know, OLFU stepping up. Joby Minudo on the front line and no follow-ups, no, no kills, pero nagkakaubusan na tayo ng resources dito once na mag-re-engage si Fatima. There's a possibility na ma-push away si Rite of Passage. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, just the minions collapsing in sa base ng Ateneo uh, de Davao University. Let's see though. Yes, indeed. 
So Kunan has banned him. Joby wants to aim with the rev. Never move. Has been used. Pero Flash has been burned. Para kay Deep Snake. And nasa harap si Happy. Joby Minudo. Just yeah. trying to free hit around with the grabby and damage. Never move pieces again. Yeah. Fuji returning the Tormented story Soil. And the Unleashed Power in the hands of Pechai Man takes down Gosu. Smoochie in front of line. Trying to use the shackle and force of the wheel. Crush down. Parang George. And you could see if you observe the minion talaga. Pa ulit ulit ako puro minion sinasabi ko. They just lack wave clear. And all those minion waves opens up for OLFU to step inside their base. And you know, with this kind of four members gone in the base of Ateneo de Davao University, the first Nexus turret will go down. Make that the second Nexus turret. And that's gonna be the game, ladies and gentlemen, proceeding to, to the, the final. We have Pro Fighters of the Unknown, known. Our Lady of Fatima University, taking on the victory against Right of Passage, Ateneo de Davao University. Wow. Convincing performance coming yes. from both. Yes, yes. Uh, sabi ko nga, it could be, it's a better performance enter the game one. It's a better performance enter the game one. Kasi yung game one talaga, it's a big, big disaster. Yeah, sobrang sa disaster. Sa site ng Ateneo de Davao University mula dun sa Gene Jungle. Pero we're, tapos na tayo dun sa kwento mo. Yeah, move on. Yun. Move on na nga tayo dun. So let's discuss this game too. Mas maganda, nag-step up sila. Okay? Yes. Nakakapagsabay sila, enter the mid game and enter the early game and also mid game. But the problem there was, Nung, we we kind of expect in terms of skill level and you know sa galaw sa, me sa mechanics din makikita natin kung ano yung kinalaman ng profilers of the unknown yeah. god sa members ng right of passage pero hindi lang yun eh Ma maganda rin sana is kapag alam mo may lamang yung team at the very least man lang how do you mitigate how do you mitigate the mitigate the damages how do oh. you uh, cut your losses dun sa larong yun at sinasabi ko kanina na at the very least, sana man lang, may wave clear. Sana, sana may maayos na wave clear. And sana na-realize ka agad yun. Isa sa mga nagpanalo sa, ano, nagpanalo sa, sa, sa BEC, kay Lucian sa, kanina, is because of the very nice itemization. Yes, of Na naka-phantom dancer siya. Kasi sobrang, he's thinking very ahead. Nag-phantom dancer siya because he knows that Irelia will be diving in. And sana, nag-think ahead din yung members dito ng Ateneo de Davao University that they will need wave clear. So they need to rack up. They need to rack up mana. They need yes. to rack up AP damage. You know, just to improve. Medyo awkward na nga yung skill set nila eh, yeah. for wave clearing. Kasi ang, ang, eh. ang pinapang wave clear makikita mo doon sa huling set, yung, sa, yeah. yung never move na hindi nag-connect. It, it was actually intended not for the champions. It was intended for the minion. Doon yeah. sa backline minion. So, So, ginagamit mo yung CC mo just for the wave clear just because yung shape ng crowd control mo ay mukhang AOE. At saka hindi nga convincing kasi yung power ni Aurelion Sol, yung pag-ikot ng balls niya, oh. spirits niya, sobrang tagal. Tagal nun. Yung, yun, yung uh -oh. travel ng Ravenous yeah. block, uh -oh. sobrang matagal tagal din. Matagal din talaga. Uh -oh. Yun yung kakulangan sa wave kung clear. Kung ipapantay mo siya sa Tormented Soil, uh -oh. Tormented Soil, kung, kung, kung magra-Ravenous block ka, oh, ang Tormented Soil, dun sa kung gano'n na yung item ng Morgana, yeah. two seconds na lang yun. Yeah, so, so oh, tagal na, diba? na, tagal na yung minion wave. Not to mention the piece cost pa rin yeah. chin ng mana regeneration. Not, not to mention the, the Caitlyn Peacemaker. So, ayun sana. As in, the, nakikita natin, lamang na eh, lamang na. May 4 level advantage oh, na, may 2 level advantage na yung ano, may 2 level advantage na yung profilers of the unknown. So, ang gusto mo na lang, wag mo sila palapitin. At para hindi mo nga sila mapalapit, kailangan mo alisin yung minion. And that's one crucial point kung saan alam natin lamang na yung profile sa yes, plano, pero ang malaking point doon is kung saan hindi na, bakit hindi na napigilan talaga? Bakit hindi na talaga napigilan na Ateneo de Davao yeah. University yung, yung pagpasok? Tuloy-tuloy na, ano, they push their advantage that easily na yun. Yes, and uh, it, it can be mitigated sana kung mas maaga sana yung Rod of Ages kasi yeah. may mana yun, sana may AP yun. Diba? Oo, ayun. So, let's go guys, para malaman natin further into the game. Actually, gusto ko ulit interview yun si Best eh, kasi puro dead sentence, city as in hook city. Pero ngayon, talaga. ito yung tagaluto talaga, yung flame speed. Oo, oh, oo, oh, oo. Oh, oh, oh. Ayan, uh, gusto ko rin malaman Taka eh, ano yung mindset, kung paano mo nga ba nilalan ang, ang, ang isang equalizer sa team fight. At saka yung idea ng Rumble. Rumble jungle no, din, oo. Oh. So, we have Beef Steak 25, pre! Pasok, pre! Ten, 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 ten! Ten, 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 ten! ten. <laughs> my time is up, my time is down! Now, you can't see me play me speed, turn now! Game. Come on, my team, my sarahing team, so pro player. And Beef Steak, Beef Steak 25, the jungler ng Our Lady Parima University, profilers of Dano. Maraming salamat first sa pagpapaunlak ng aming interview. So, madaling tanong lang naman. Ayun, what's up with those equalizers? 
Ayun, ano ba ang tamang mindset sa paglagay ng equalizer? Pwede mo ba kami masabihan? For that game specifically, uh, kailan? Kailan mo na nare-realize na kung kailan dapat na dapat ibagsak yung equalizer? Minsan po, ano, pagka nakahook lang po si Wura, mm. doon ko lang po minsan binabagsak yung SS ko. As Pero in, pagka alam ko pong walang flash, ako po yung naunang mag-start. Pag walang flash, sino? Yung kalaban? Oh, o po. yung na-dead sentence? Yung kalaban yung, yung kalaban na nan. Pang-start po yung equalizer. Pang-start oh, yung so equalizer. So, pwede siya maging initiation when it comes na down yung flashes ng enemy team. Oh, mm. Pero minsan, uh, sa team fight aantayin mo yung proper timing. Oh, Actually, no, ma'am. Akala mo mukhang advanced sa oh, tactic. Okay, Pero yeah. it's as simple as that, no? Tama nga naman. Kasi, kasi, di, ano talaga, kasi little, ibagsak mo lang, little details. Yeah, ibagsak mo lang yung equalizer, they'll be forced to use their first mobility skill. Skills. Oo. Pero kung wala, yun nga, so kung wala na yun, totally, wala na ng flash, wala pa oh, ano, wala so, na ng... May beefsteak ka na, luto oh, na sila eh. Oh, <laughs> oh, so, ayun, ang, ang tanong ko naman, uh, kasi interesting, oh, interesting. Uh, like sobrang. we have the, we have Rek'Sai, we have Gragas, we have oh, lots yeah, of jungles, but dami, of course... Sobrang open lahat, pati yes, nga eh. Yes, but you know this series of nerfs then yeah. diba so maybe there's maybe maybe pa lang yun yung malaking tanong there's this advent of a rumble jungle pero right now it's very clear it's Zack right now pero tanong lang ano, ano bang kinaganda ng isang rumble jungle 25 mabilis po siyang mag clear tapos mabilis. hindi po siya namumula sa jungle mm. so Ay. dahil ba yun sa shield niya kaya I mean, he was able to sustain oh, um, uh, yung health niya or, it, or hindi siya nag rage mode sa jungle as in man you mean namumula yung life niya Yung life po. May good sustain siya. Oh, May po. good survivability sa jungle. Tsaka pwede pong hindi mo nang umuwi ng hmm. base. Okay, so parang yung first recall mo, yung first rotation mo sa jungle, even if you reach, parang if you reach level 3, you'll be really effective in yes, influencing po. other lanes. Oh, po. Okay. So, ako okay naman, may tanong din ako. So, as a rumble jungle, uh, paano nagsisimula yung initiation mo ng ganks? Kasi, paano pag nag-miss yung harpoon, ano yung next na pwede mong gawin? Such things. Minsan po ano eh, binabalikan ko na lang po oh, pagka uwi walang flash. <laughs> uwi oh, actually, lang. Parang, parang, li- pa, parang listen ka. <laughs> Oo, oh, parang hindi to, hindi to mamay sonic wave. Alis na lang ako. Oh, Ganon din sa harpoon, harpoon yata. <laughs> Pero kasi ang maganda sa harpoon, two chances siya, right? Opo. Oh, charges three o two? Mga ganda may charges oh, siya. So, kaya it's not just a one try sonic wave. Oh, uh, like uh, harpoon. And actually, kaya mo pinipick yung jungle, yung compared to other junglers na katulad ng listen or Elise, kaya mo pinipick yung katulad nila nila Rumble, nila Gragas, nila Zack is because of the setup. You know, contribute nila sa isang team fight, no? Opa. Compared to compared to an Elise, compared to Alisin na nag na nag uh, nag scale off, 'di ba? Yeah, Para it fell it nag fell off, nag fell off enter late game. Hindi yung katulad nila nila Rumble nga. <laughs> nag scale off pa sila enter the late game. Oo. Oh. Ayun, so maraming maraming salamat, best grabe. Thank you. Oh, oh, we're look, beefsteak. We look at best best beefsteak oh. Grabe. Si best kasi, ang daming connection ni, eh. parang oh, internet 'to, ang daming connection. <laughs> networking nga ata to si Best si. Eh. Daming networking. Is, isang best ko lang nakita nag-miss yung hook ni Best. At hindi nga siya, hindi talaga siya ganoon ka-miss kasi pre-nedict niya. Oo, pre-nedict niya. Actually niya lang support lane yun. Si Aurelion Sol. Oo, oh, oh, yun lang. Tapos the rest puro na nag-connect. Di ba? Oo, oh, siya buha. Ay, may lumilipad. Sabi mo, Aurelion Sol, lumilipad. Hinatak niya. Ganoon, sarang gola pa. Oo, sabi niya. Ganoon-ganoon niya. Sabi ni Best, obosen eh. Nagulat ako. So, ayan, we're looking forward on your match. Congratulations sa pag-proceed nyo sa finals. na Nako, LCL. Tapos ano, PGS Promotionals ulit. Oo na. Laglag niya ulit. Kailangan makabawi na this time, pre. Oo. Alam naman natin kung anong target talaga ng photo. Photo has been around, you know. And the PGS is the dream. Actually, Pero, siyempre, Vindicator Esports Club. Yung nga, nakating sila. Yes, finals ha, next week, guys. Ayan, sa finals natin. So, I think we need to wrap this up. Okay? So, guys, powered by Smart Communications, kami po ang naging shoutcaster for this game. Maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat ng naglaro ngayon na teams. Hindi lang dito sa 4 teams natin dito sa semifinals, but also sa 48 teams na naging bahagi ng LOL Collegiate League. Tsaka sa inyo din, mga viewers, maraming maraming salamat po on behalf of our, of our pro team of the LCL team. Mula kay Metanoia, mula kay Nick, mula oh, kay Mick. Oh, Pahirit uh, ako parang shield oh, ko kasi talaga andyan yung mga YouTubers natin. Oh, eh, yung mga nanonood nga sila, Alex Edel, Weird Gaming TV. Oh, yan. Yung mga naipag-usap, may discussion talaga sila. Oh, kay Definitely Not Carms, or, uh, kay Ara Raymundo. Everyone from you guys, kay Mikaela Kunanan, thank you so much for dropping by at our YouTube channel. Support lang and share. Alam niyo na, finals, kita-kits ulit tayo. So, any message? 
Parang ano? Wala ka bang ano, babatiin na lalaki man? Si Baring Manji! Ay, si Man- oh, Manji! Man- na- medyo puro babae. <laughs> Hindi kasi si Manji, inahanap din siya sa YouTube channel. Yung mga lalaki gusto magbabati dyan, ako na lang yung babae. <laughs> kasi yung mga lalaki. Kasi yung magulat ka naman kung puro lalaki babatiin ko. Okay lang sa akin. <laughs> 90% ng players natin na lalaki. Hindi kasi yung mga, mga close friends lang yan supposed to para. Uh, 90% ng players ng League of Legends na <laughs> lalaki. 10% oh. kay Alpa. Huwag <laughs> <laughs> ka nga ganyan, siya nakakaya sa photo. <laughs> Sorry. Big big shoutouts kay Sir Kid, kay Tio, oh, Bray. And ayun nga. May mga lalaki. <laughs> uh, sa, sa pro team natin, nagpapabate. Kay, kay Auditore, yan. Papasok na siya ng gold. Si Bess, si Bess. Kay Hans, kay Hans Bess. Kay Brian Production, and of course, kay Burrito. Mga kaibigan, maraming maraming salamat po. It has been a very big adventure here at LCL, but this is it. The beginning of the end. The finals. Vindicator Esports Club versus Profilers of the Unknown, Our Lady of Fatima University versus Technological Institute of the Philippines. Once again, we are we find ourselves faced with the finals. Oh, you know, the huling huling laban na dito sa Karina Esports as we are pre- we proceed to a new dawn. Worlds, di ba? Tapos oh, September start na ng Worlds. Ayun po. Again, Shoutcaster call for those aspiring Shoutcasters. Ang gang, ang gang Ellen Jean. Yung next video natin, that is from September 9 to October 9. Mga harap tayo, mga kaibigan, kasama ng ating mga pro players. Once again, Smart Communications, kami po yung naging Shoutcaster. Shinbo with a one for an eye at kasama ko po. Si Alpha sa ngayon. At syempre, si sino? Baring, sino? Puanto Bibs, take mo. Bibs, oh! Bibs, take 25, kaibigan! Bibs, take 25, mga kaibigan! Lock to Legit League 2016, summer term! Now saying goodbye and have a blessed week ahead of you. O, oh, punta na sila dito sa objective na to. Ito yung ano eh, ano yung, ano yung may ocean ganyan ganyan. Dragon. Ayan, dragon. So, kunin na nila. Yung dragon. Pero sinubukan yung si Lijin. Binuksan niyo yung kurtina, ano yung, yung ult ni Jin. Ah, curtain call. Yun, curtain yung curtain call, yung W niya. Ginamit na niya, sobrang lakas. R. R. R, R. Yung R ni Jin. Ginamit niya pang ano, get it like ng larong to eh. Alam ka ba ulit larong to? Alam ano? ko to eh. League of Legends, man. League of Legends. Grabe yung ginawa ng Timo doon na sobrang lupit na chase ang ginawa sa kanya at nakapatay pa siya ng tatlo. Grabe naman ang ginagawa dito. Tama pa ako, paring Atlas. <laughs> Correct! Tamang tama yung pagsabi ni paring Atlas dyan. And grabe yung final spark yung tumapos doon sa buhay ng Graves. Wow, sobrang tindi ng Daring Atlas. <laughs> naaalala ko nga rin yun eh. Maganda yun yung play na yun. Pero naaalala ko nag-enchanted like, kingdom kami ng girlfriend ko. Oo, oh, yung ano, ang lakas ng ulan. Oh. Hindi namin na-enjoy kasi syempre mga raids doon di ba outdoors. Oo oh, nga, may mga peris na. O, oh, mga disco magic. Yun na nga. Ano si Lay, wala ano na basala. May, may disco baby yeah. nga, di ba? Oh, may oh. disco baby tas pagka nag nag Rio Grande Rapids. Pero hindi mo na kwento sa akin 'yung panahon na nag-usap tayo nung ano, na about sa girlfriend mo. Eh kasi eh ano na wala na kasi 'yun dahil nga Enchanted King tapos do basa pa kami. Nung oh. nag Rio Grande kami, wala na, wala na yung essence ng Rio Grande kasi basa na kami. Kaya nga. Ay, eh, tapos pa eh, Blue Team wins pre. 'Yun na nga eh. So, balik tayo sa ano pa eh, nangyari. Ready? Okay, game! <laughs> Holy 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 mother Oh my god! Alpha! Po! Ay, oh kapitan ka lang! Hindi ko kinaya! Ibang iba! Grabe, nag-initial setup yung Jarvan dito that opens up a first kill para to sa ating bait now with a double kill lang o biglang na triple kill oh my god, it's gonna be a quadra kill and he's gonna get it, might be, might be oh, it's gonna be penta kill pre penta kill penta kill pre and let's go into the drafting phase oh my god Oh my GG boys! Brom support! Brom support! What's up? Tapos na to! Tapos na to! Parang shit! First big Brom! Oh my GG-ness!
actually the reason why this play is so good for salty dogs is because they give no time for the enemy to react they just go in straight forward playing to their comp and that's why i think they won the entire game oh exactly Oh, hey, there's gonna be Rex side going for the gap here in the bottom lane. Oh my god, it's retaliation mula sa from natin. Oh. Tapos yung bait. Oh my god, bigla lang ka double kill! Double, double kill! kill! Alam na guys, let's celebrate! Oh! Alam na, alam na! Okay, ito ang seryoso na. Aside sa mga points na binigay namin kanina, here are the essential things in becoming a shark master. Dapat meron kang passion sa paglalaro. Be polite. Be professional. Always educate and entertain. And most of all, reach out to the people. So, do you have what it takes to become a shark master? Double G. No, 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 no,